Hey, what's up guys? Alessia here for Virtual Insanity Effects and today we're gonna take a look at five new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. The first feature we're gonna take a look is the multiple project, which is awesome. Right here I have already one, two, three, four, five new projects at the same time. The cool part is that I can go through all my projects and working at the same time, which is really awesome. And this allows me also to copy and paste parts and clips of from one project to another. For example, um, I have this uh, headshot tutorial that I've done recently, which is in my channel, check it out. And if I play it, I've got my intro. Let's say for future tutorials, I just wanna have like a consistent intro. So I can go into my project file where I created my intro, select my clips, all of them with audio and everything. Just literally copy, go to the other tutorial where the intro was completely different. Before I paste it, I'm gonna move just a little bit my timeline forward and then I'm gonna paste it. And so I can take a look very quickly. Since I created a, a gap in my timeline, I wanna show you the next feature, which is closing gaps. So I'm going to go to sequence and then close gap. And there we go. This works also in a different way. Let's say that I delete a few uh, bits of my clips and I can close gaps individually but since I've got a big uh, soundtrack right here I need to delete this and then select this part of the timeline go to sequence and close gap and this is how it works if I want to close this gap I'm just gonna go to here and close gap and this works in every timeline and clips and for the third feature it's actually pretty cool let's say that I'm working with someone else at the same time on a shared project which we're gonna take a look in a second I just want to save all my projects at the same time well then I can go to file and save all and that's the third feature let's move on at features number four we have new labels and new colors basically Adobe added a tons of new labels and new colors by selecting all the clips you want go to labels and there we go you have a tons of new uh, colors and labels I can just click on blue and it looks pretty pretty cool and I can go and select this ones and make them I don't know uh, magenta and it looks pretty awesome because I can be more organized with my clips and remember which clip is which. Especially when you have a big project like this one, which is not big in terms of length, it's only one minute, but it's pretty packed with clips, effects, sounds, and much more. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do because a lot of really good stuff are coming up really, really soon. New video tutorials in After Effects and new video tutorials in Premiere Pro as well. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. At features number five, we have share project. Let's go to file, new, share project, give it a name, new shared project, and press OK. A new window will pop up and we can simply dock it to our panel. And then we go to edit, preferences, collaboration, and then we enable project locking. And then I'm gonna type my name, press OK. And if I drag and drop, for example, a part of this, into the new project. Now I can see that my project is writable. If I select my sequences and I click on the lock, it will turn it into read-only mode. And it's really useful if you're working in a team so you can allow other people to look at your project but not editing or changing anything. Alternatively, you can also create a share project from here. New item and then share project and Alessio project. And this is very useful, especially in Big Studio so you can share assets with your team. And lastly, at number six, we have a new feature in the Essential Graphics panel, which is the responsive design. I just created this lower third, which as an animation comes in and goes out. Let's say that I want to change the duration of my clip. Previously, if I was doing this, it was gonna cut off my ending. So if I undo this, and then I go to responsive design and I give like a number, for example, in duration 10 and out duration 10. Now, if I shorten my clip, you will see they will retain the animation and that's pretty pretty cool and that really saves a lot of time especially when I was working with lower thirds creating in After Effects and I was gonna import them in Premiere Pro and I had to rearrange the length of all my motion graphics design in addition to responsive design we also have the roll which is pretty cool this is what it does but we're not gonna take a look into this because it's gonna take us a long time to do this and for the last feature, we have responsive position, which allow us to pin object to each other in the timeline. And I'll show you how. Basically, I'm gonna select my shape that now is not even following. I want to follow the text. So what I'm going to do is pin this and this to the virtual insanity effects. If we play this, my text is moving 
but the shape is not moving. I'm gonna select the shape and pin it to the left bottom. And then I'm gonna tell from pin two to pin it to the virtual insanity text. And now if I play it, there we go. And that's it. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something new and I really, really dig in the new features because they're really, really helpful. And if you're not subscribed now to my channel, please do, because a lot of new stuff are coming up really, really soon. A new video tutorial in After Effects and new video tutorials in Premiere Pro. Also drop a like and comment below if you feel like, and make sure you check my latest video tutorials. Thanks again for watching, see you soon and stay geek. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for... <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Welcome. And today we're gonna take a look at five new features in Adobe After Fu. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back from Alessio for Virtual Intent. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Alessio here. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this tutorial helped someone. It's not... And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do because something is... If you're not subscribed, make sure you do because a lot of new and comments below. It will help my channel. If you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe now. If you're not subscribed, and comment below, and comment below. Make sure you check all, and and make sure you also, and also, and make sure you check my video tutorials. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you?